Ever wondered what the difference is between cubic zirconia and diamonds? Well, you've come to the right place. This is a tale of two gemstones, each dazzling in their own right, yet intriguingly different. Let's start with cubic zirconia, or CZ as it's often called. It's a man-made gem, a product of science and craft, created from zirconium dioxide, a crystalline mineral. It's a marvel in its own right, possessing a spectrum of colors that can rival a rainbow, thanks to the magic of coloring agents. Imagine having the power to create a gem in any hue you fancy. That's the beauty of science. But CZ is more than just an artist's palette. It's also a testament to human ingenuity. Born in the laboratories of Russia in the 1970s, it was initially used as a diamond alternative in laser technology. But soon the sparkle and brilliance of CZ caught the eye of the jewellery industry. Today, it adorns necklaces, rings and earrings, offering a less expensive, conflict-free alternative to diamonds. However, for all its sparkle, CZ is not a diamond. It may look like one, it may even trick the untrained eye, but there are subtle differences that set these two gemstones apart. CZ lacks the durability of a diamond and will gradually lose its shine and sparkle over time. It's also less brilliant and reflective than its natural counterpart. Under natural light, CZ gives off a rainbow light dispersion, while diamonds radiate pure white light. Diamonds, on the other hand, are the epitome of nature's craftsmanship. Each diamond is a unique masterpiece formed deep within the earth over billions of years. They are the toughest gemstone on earth, scoring a perfect 10 on the Mohs scale of hardness, a scale used to measure the scratch resistance of a mineral. Now don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content. Let's jump into how cubic zirconia came to be and how it compares to the most popular gemstone diamonds. Some would say very comparable holes, some should call them fake diamonds. Let's see why this is and how it actually compares to diamond and why it always seems to be compared to it. Cubic zirconia, often known as CZ, is not a naturally occurring gemstone. It's a dazzling creation of human ingenuity, a product of science and technology. Born from the fusion of powdered zirconium and zirconium oxide, CZ is created by heating the mixture to a staggering 4982 degrees Fahrenheit. This process results in a crystalline material that closely mimics the sparkle and shine of a diamond. Born in the laboratories of Russia in the 1970s, cubic zirconia was initially developed as a diamond alternative for use in laser technology. Its brilliance and sparkle soon caught the eye of the jewellery industry, and before long, CZ was making its grand entrance onto the stage of glitz and glamour. Today, you'll find cubic zirconia gracing all kinds of jewellery, from necklaces to engagement rings, and it's easy to see why. Cubic zirconia offers a cost-effective alternative to diamonds, providing the same visual appeal at a fraction of the price. It's colourless, hard and flawlessly clear, making it a convincing stand-in for its natural counterpart. And with the ability to be treated with colouring agents, CZ offers a veritable rainbow of hues, further broadening its appeal. But there's more to cubic zirconia than just its dazzling appearance. It's a conflict-free gemstone, providing a guilt-free option for those who care about the ethical implications of their purchases concerning mining and labour and it all around ethical problems. And with a hardness of 8.5 on the Mohs scale, it's a durable choice for everyday wear. However, there are some differences between cubic zirconia and diamonds. For one, CZ is less brilliant and reflective than diamonds. However, not by much if you consider the price differences. Under natural light, CZs give off a rainbow light dispersion, while diamonds radiate white light. And while it's almost as hard as a diamond, it's not quite as durable. Sapphire being next at 9, then Mossinate being a 9.5, and then Diamond being a 10. So all very close. Exposure to dirt, oxygen, chlorine and water can speed up the aging process, causing CZ to lose its shine and sparkle within a few years. But while cubic zirconia might sparkle, it's not quite the same as a diamond. Giving off the white light we all know. Yet for many, it's a beautiful and affordable alternative that allows them to enjoy the look of diamonds without the hefty price tag. Diamonds, the so-called king of gemstones, hold a unique place in the world of jewellery. 
These precious stones are the result of billions of years of geological processes forming deep within the Earth's mantle under extreme heat and pressure. Each diamond is a unique piece of our planet's history, making them a symbol of rarity and prestige. The durability of diamonds is unmatched. Ranking a perfect 10 on the Mohs scale of hardness, these stones are the hardest known mineral. This incredible hardness means that diamonds maintain their sparkle and brilliance for a lifetime, unlike cubic zirconia, which tends to lose its shine over time. But diamonds are not just about durability. They also have exceptional light reflecting properties. A diamond's brilliance, or the white light returned to the observer, is unparalleled. It's this play of light that gives diamonds their mesmerizing sparkle. On the other hand, cubic zirconia, while also reflective, tends to give off a rainbow light dispersion under natural light, a characteristic that sets it apart from the white light of diamonds. Some would say they enjoy about this specific gem, rainbows of colors being very appealing. Diamonds have a higher refractive index than cubic zirconia, standing at 2.42 compared to cubic zirconia's index of 2.15 to 2.18. This means that diamonds bend and slow down light more causing more light to be reflected back to the observer and contributing to their superior brilliance. Just not in a rainbow of colors, only pure white. And then there's the prestige. Diamonds have long been associated with luxury, status and love. They are the traditional choice for engagement rings and other significant pieces of jewelry, a tradition that spans centuries. Their higher price point compared to cubic zirconia is a reflection of their natural origin their unique properties, and the labor-intensive process required to bring them from the earth to the jewelry store. So, while both may sparkle, there are clear differences between cubic zirconia and diamonds. Diamonds, with their inherent durability, unique light-reflecting properties and rich history, truly stand in a class of their own. Now that we've explored both gemstones, let's put them side by side. In the realm of gemstones, hardness is a key player. On the Mohs scale, a diamond reigns supreme with a perfect 10, while cubic zirconia trails closely behind with a commendable 8.5. Though not as hard as a diamond, cubic zirconia still holds its ground, offering durability at a fraction of the cost. Let's consider brilliance the way a gemstone reflects light. A diamond's brilliance is unparalleled, reflecting a beautiful white light. Cubic zirconia, on the other hand, casts a rainbow light dispersion under natural light. This kaleidoscope effect, while enchanting, is a telltale sign that the gemstone in question is not a diamond. Now let's take a moment to ponder light dispersion, or the way a gemstone breaks light into its spectral colors. In this regard, cubic zirconia outperforms diamonds with a dispersion rate of 0.058 to 0.066 compared to diamonds modest 0.044. This means that cubic zirconia has a higher propensity to display a rainbow effect, which can be quite captivating, but also a giveaway of its true identity. Last but not least, let's weigh in on the matter. Quite literally, in fact. Cubic zirconia is denser than diamond, with a density 1.7 times greater. This means that a cubic zirconia of the same size as a diamond will be heavier, a detail that might not be immediately noticeable, but is an essential part of the comparison. Speaking of comparison, let's not forget about the refractive index, which measures the speed of light in a gemstone. Diamonds boast a refractive index of 2.42, outshining cubic zirconia's index of 2.15 to 2.18. This difference in refractive index results in a diamond's superior brilliance and sparkle. Also, it is a very important detail concerning gemstone comparisons, so the points must be driven. In a nutshell, while cubic zirconia might dazzle with its brilliance and rainbow light dispersion, its softer composition, heavier weight and lower refractive index reveal its true nature. As we can see, while cubic zirconia might resemble a diamond, the two are fundamentally different. So, where does this leave us in the cubic zirconia versus diamond comparison? After diving deep into the dazzling world of these gemstones, we've come to appreciate the unique qualities of each. 
Cubic zirconia, a man-made marvel, shares a striking resemblance to diamonds with its brilliant sparkle and clear, colorless appearance. It's a popular choice for those seeking a cost-effective, conflict-free alternative to the traditional diamond. However, it's important to remember that cubic zirconia, despite its diamond-like qualities, is not a diamond. Its brilliance and reflectivity are slightly less than that of a diamond. Under natural light, cubic zirconia produces a rainbow light dispersion, while diamonds emit a radiant white light. Also, while cubic zirconia is fairly hard, scoring an 8.5 on the Mohs scale of hardness, it's not quite as durable as a diamond, which is a perfect 10. Now let's talk about the undeniable allure of diamonds. These natural wonders have captivated humans for centuries with their unmatched strength, brilliance and rarity. A diamond's refractive index of 2.42 surpasses that of cubic zirconia, which ranges between 2.15 and 2.18. The dispersion of diamonds and cubic zirconia also differs, with diamonds at 0.044 and cubic zirconia between 0.058 and 0.066. Despite these differences, it's crucial to note that both cubic zirconia and diamonds have their own set of advantages. Both being mainly lab-grown, for example, even though there is a very big price difference for these seemingly small differences. However, cubic zirconia offers a guilt-free, affordable option for those who appreciate the look of diamonds, while diamonds, though more expensive, offer a timeless natural beauty that's more and more harder to come by for several reasons. Ultimately, the choice between cubic zirconia and diamonds depends on individual preferences and priorities. What's most important is that your choice shines as brightly as you do. Whether you're drawn to the affordability and ethical production of cubic zirconia or the unrivaled brilliance and durability of diamonds, your gemstone should reflect your unique style and values.